Hey everyone, it's Phil Gamesh. Uh, today is September 5th. Um, I just got home from the comic book store and man, in contrast to last week, today was huge. Way too many books. And I didn't even get all the ones that I wanted. But, um, I got plenty. So, um, bear with me, I'll try to get through this quickly. First off, uh, from Image Comics, I grabbed Spawn 289. Um, it's got another Matina cover. So, really good looking book. Looks like, I don't know, a combination of energy and blood all over the <laughs> cover. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, next up, from Dark Horse, I grabbed this War Bears number one. Um, it's written by Margaret Atwood, who was the author who wrote the, um, Handmaid's Tale stuff, which I've never read, but I know it's popular. Uh, I don't really know anything about this other than that, so I don't know. We'll give it a shot, see what it's like. I think it's about, like, a writer or a comic book creator or something who created this, um, I don't know, fictional property. Next up... Image Comics, Stray Bullets, Sunshine and Roses, number 38. Always a good read. Um, grab The Walking Dead, 183. I never usually get the Sienkiewicz covers. I have a couple of them, but... Um, like, I missed some of the early ones, and... I guess I just decided if I couldn't have them all, I wasn't going to bother trying to get the whole set together. And from Image, last book from Image, Paper Girls number 24, Brian K. Vaughn, Cliff Chang, excellent read, beautiful art. This is definitely one of my favorites month after month. Uh, moving on to DC, I grabbed The United States vs. Murder, Inc. number one. This is uh, one of the Bendis books. Um, this is actually picking up from an older series he did called um, The United States of Murder, Inc. That he did with uh, Michael Avon Aiming or Oming, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, so I guess I just decided I would try to pick it back up, see if I can remember what was going on. This is, um, the David Mack variant cover, all black cover, so it's going to be kind of hard to get in high grade, but this is in pretty nice shape. Eh, probably a 9.6, <laughs> which is sad because I just brought it home from the store. Um... Thought I would check this out. Cover number one. Also another Bendis book. Drawn by David Mack this time. And I think this is just the A cover. Actually, there may not be any variant covers for this one. I'm not sure. Um, This is interesting. I grabbed the Dreaming number one. This is the Yannick Paquette cover. Uh, the funny thing is, I meant to grab the Jay Lee cover, and I guess I just... I don't know. My hand was reaching for the shelf, and my eyes were looking somewhere else, and I, I must have grabbed the wrong cover. I didn't even notice it until just now. But I guess it's not that big a deal. I just thought the Jay Lee cover looked a little bit nicer. Grab the Jim Lee cover for Justice League number seven. Nice Superman blasting the reader with his heat vision. Grab Deathstroke 35, Matina, Deathstroke versus Batman. Very nice. Um, and this story is really good too. Uh, 
Picked up the B cover for Harley Quinn 49, the Frank Cho cover. Harley Quinn is the Angel of Death. That's very cool. That's definitely one of his better covers. And he's done some good ones. And I picked up the A cover for uh, Batman 54, the Matt Wagner cover. Um, I just thought it looked nicer than the, the Tim Sale B cover. So, I mean, I like... I like the art on it and the coloring, the contrast between these two sections of Batman and Robin and Batman and Nightwing. And the Tim Sale cover didn't really do anything for me. Alright, moving on to Marvel. First up, I picked up the True Believers reprint of Daredevil number one, which is um, one of the early Marvel books I've never read before. I've read most of the really early Marvel stuff. Like the first appearances of all the major characters, um, at least from the Silver Age, with a few exceptions. I, I don't think I've ever read Fantastic Four forty eight, or really. I mean, I think I read like the first twenty five or so issues of Fantastic Four, but that's about it. I really should go back and check out more of those. Anyway. Um, Grab Venom First Host number two. I grabbed the, I think this is the A cover, um, the Mark Bagley cover. And I grabbed this one because it's got like this Dark Hawk looking, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a Venom symbiote or what, but I don't know. Interesting looking character. So I thought I'd pick that up and. Check it out. Um, I did get number one and I haven't read it yet because it just came out last week. It's weird how sometimes they do these weekly books. Um, anyway. As Guardians of the Galaxy number one. That looks like an interesting team. I especially like Throg. Um, and now, this is probably for me the cover of the week. Immortal Hulk number five. This is the uh, Raza variant, the Immortal Hulk versus Cosmic Ghost Rider. I just, I really love this cover. The colors on it are awesome, and it's actually very reminiscent of the classic Silver Surfer number four, where it's Silver Surfer fighting Thor. Um, yeah, I just really like this cover. I think it's gorgeous. Um, so, moving into the Donny Cates books. All for Marvel. Because I guess they decided to put out almost everything he does in one week. Um, Death of the Inhumans, number three. Grab the A cover for... Cosmic Ghost Rider number three because it's got all these uh, future Guardians characters on the cover. And I'm looking forward to reading this one. It's supposed to have some, like, first, well, extra first appearances in it or surprise first appearances or something. We'll find out. Grab the A cover for Thanos Legacy number one. Um, I was looking at some of the others. I, I would have liked to have gotten the George Perez cover, but I was looking at it and it's really not his best work. I think the um, proportions are kind of off on Thanos. He looks like he looks like little boy Thanos, where his head is kind of bigger than his body. It's like <laughs> I don't know, like Scotty Young did the layout and George Perez kind of drew it, but who knows? Um. And then I grabbed Avengers number seven. I really like that uh, ancient Ghost Rider on the Woolly Mammoth. That's pretty cool. And finally, the last book I picked up of, of the week, um, one of the variant covers, I picked up the Clayton Crane cover 
for Avengers number seven. And that's a really nice painted cover. To me, it's very reminiscent of like a lot of old, I don't know, Savage Sword of Conan, that sort of thing. Or something you might see Frazetta do. Um, but yeah, I got that for 25 bucks. Um, and I think it was more or less supposed to be retailing for 60, so I think Midtown had it for 50. I figured it might be, I don't know. A good investment or a good deal whatever so anyway that's my haul for the week I think didn't quite get there under 10 minutes but it could have been a lot longer um, so let me know what you think let me know if you think I picked up some good books or if there's anything I missed and um, I will see everybody next week or maybe sooner if I happen to make another video we'll see everybody take it easy